All right, it's my first day back in the stew. I was among the many people whose flights were canceled by Southwest, thank you very much. The night that I was supposed to get back into the stew, I wound up trapped in San Francisco, which is okay because that's where I'm from. But now we are back in the glorious studio. We're here, my stew is literally so fucking messy. If you could see anything on the side of me or below me, you would think I was literally a maniac. There's cups, there's Cheez-Its, there's yo-yos, there's guitars on the ground. I'm gonna go into a, a different song session. I wanted to recreate that drum beat that I made with MIDI so that I could make it more dynamic. So I'm gonna see if, now that I know about quarter notes and eighth notes and 16th notes, if I can turn this track from trash to treasure. Let's go. This was like the hardest thing getting this kick rhythm, I just couldn't figure it out. I had like tried to do this. I, I was using audio samples. I literally tried this so many times. And now with my knowledge, we got the MIDI baby. They said I'd never learn how to make rhythms. They were wrong. I didn't know about MIDI. I was so naive. Shit, fuck Jesus, shit. This is all happening in real time and it's super out of focus, just to prove how real it is. I mean, what do you expect? I'm in the fucking stew. It's too easy. I'm gonna take this, replace with this sound. Sounds kinda like shit, but we'll fix it. This is the secret. You've heard the spooky breath snare on henna tattoo. That's when I first invented the spooky breath snare. And there's a spooky breath snare on this. We're gonna turn it into a sample. It's no problem. There's no better sound than that. The only better sound than a spooky breath snare is a static snare, which I also have in this song somewhere. I'm putting 808s on everything. Check this out. Now we're gonna put a little bit of delay, change the sound. I want it to be a little Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop, boop. All my life I wanted to make music like Play Radio Play. It's funny that he had a project after called Analog Rebellion. I guess he was tired of computers, but I'm like the opposite. I'm gonna have to make a uh, project called Digital Rebellion because I feel like Play Radio Play right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm back in the stew, same me, different hoodie, same medic. This is the water damage I was talking about in the first video. It's pretty unsightly, in my opinion. I'm gonna avoid playing guitar by any means necessary, which means that today I'm going back in to continue inspecting these tracks, MIDI, fucking EQ, fucking compression, fucking delay, fucking harmony, plug-in. We don't play guitar anymore. We play with computers. Okay, I'm at a place with this one where I like it. I like to work in peak performance windows. I don't wanna burn myself out, so I'm gonna move on to the next track. Vocals are muted, of course. Oh, it's getting silly when the hard drives come out. This is a song that I recorded like two years ago. I wrote this song like five years ago and I keep trying to record it. I'm doing the same thing I'm doing with the other ones. This one, thank Silly Main and the Thrift God above, I did record to a click track. That was the beginning of my experimentation. So it's easier for me to lay MIDI down here. The thing that's tough about all these songs that I'm bringing back from the dead is I literally don't know how to play any of them. So if they turn into good songs, 
it's gonna be a difficult and long and painful road to relearn how to play them. This is extremely rudimentary. <laughs> One thing about maintaining peak performance in the lab is making sure to take walks and eat food. This isn't something that I do well as much as I want to keep sitting in my stew and making the worst bass line of all time that sounds like a frog jumping on a lily pad. I'm extremely hungry. All I've had today is a bunch of coffee and some oatmeal and three Zin pouches, maybe four. Hats on outside, I don't want any. I don't want anybody seeing my mop right now. So yeah, I'm gonna get back into this dude later. I'm gonna be working on these tracks all day long till the sun goes behind the sky and there's nothing but darkness that remains. Okay, I've just found another example of early attempt 808s. This project was last opened on January 15th, 2021. Why does this guitar sound so fucking weird? I think this is a DI acoustic. Very, very experimental in the studio, as you can see. Let's give this one more listen. The beat actually kind of slaps. Sounds kind of silly though. Let's make this shit hard as fuck. This honestly still sounds kind of funny. Like it has a little bit of a like Donald Duck's wild ride through fucking puzzle world energy. But it does kind of slap. more hard somehow. I'm going crazy. I've been doing too much. Okay, this is day three in the stew. It is New Year's Eve. I went a little bit crazy in the stew yesterday. I have to admit, I kept telling myself that I was gonna stop and then somehow I kept going. I'm working on three different projects at the same time. So sometimes when I get disillusioned with one or if I start putting too many layers, I'll just switch back to another project. Working on so many at the same time makes it difficult for me to focus because it's so easy to just switch gears to a different thing. So today, because I've been avoiding this for some reason, I need to bounce the stems for the Paper Rose Haiku album that is almost done. It's pretty, it could be done if I decided it was done, but I need to begin bouncing the stems that are done because I want to get that mixed and hopefully out very soon. So I'm gonna put Medic on the back burner for a second, and I'm gonna put my secret unnamed other project on the back burner as well, and do some bouncing of stems. I think I'm gonna take a break from the stew tomorrow and do what I vowed never to do again, which is play guitar. Day three in the stew. Let's go. Let's take a look in this session. This song is called Mothman by Paper Rose Haiku. <laughs> It's a banger, easily. It's a total banger. I recorded this song actually in the bathroom of a hotel on tour, on the Field Medic tour. I was in the studio with Paper Rose in the bathroom of the hotel on the Field Medic tour. And then I came back and I brought it to my real stew and did a couple little things to it, but this is mostly invented in a bathroom. I was listening to a bunch of this podcast called Monsters Among Us, and I heard this beat and it sounded kind of creepy. This beat was produced by Bloodworth and Black Winter Wells. And so I decided to write the song from the perspective of the Mothman. We all feel like the Mothman from time to time. So it wound up being kind of about the way I feel too. Anyways, I'm gonna make some tweaks. That's just a secret leak of Mothman. Stop sign. I'm in the studio with paper rolls. Bloody real my baby shoot straight. Similar to my desire to never play guitar again, I think I never want to sing harmonies again. This plugin is hella crazy. Peep this. I'm 
officially closing up the stew, I actually feel like I'm going insane in here. I've been crouching over my chair, looking at these sessions for three days straight. And once you start fucking with waves harmony, when you're just trying to bounce a song, that's how you know you should probably just chill. So that's a little taste of The Lab. The Lab is in a strange place right now because as I said, I'm recording three different albums at once. It's New Year's Eve. I've been in the lab too long. I'm gonna take a shower and draw something cute on Procreate. That's an update from Medic World. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. If this video is out of focus, I apologize. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Goodbye.